Right, so Crocs, the shoes which everyone loves to hate, is stepping into new heights. Case in point, the foam. It's a 10 cm high platform Crocs that Balenciaga recently did for Spring Summer 2018. And he has already drawn a lot of flack online, and I don't see why, because it's starting to grow on me. But this isn't the first time that Crocs has flirted with high fashion before. It recently collaborated with British designer Christopher Kane on these babies. Crocs making a comeback if everyone hates them. And why do they still exist? And why are they called Crocs? Let's back it up a little bit. Founded in 2002 in the US, the shoe design was bought over by Foam Creations. It's a company that specializes in injection molded foam products. Called the Beach, it's now referred to as the classic because there are more than 120 styles. The shoes are not made of plastic and rubber as most believe, but instead with the company's closed cell resin called Crosslite. So this resin is soft and cushiony and inhibits bacteria and microgrowth so that your shoes don't smell. And because the shoes perform well on land and in water, like crocodiles, it was named Crocs. Its practicality and comfort was what made it popular in the first place, especially with famous people such as actor Al Pacino, Brooke Shields and even Michelle Obama. But even famous and beautiful people can't stop Crocs from being ridiculed. Time magazine listed the shoe as one of the world's 50 worst inventions in 2010, and websites like IHateCrocs.com sprung up. Haters even went so far as to film videos of themselves burning and cutting out Crocs. Harsh. So having to compete with knockoffs at its failing popularity, sales plunged and the company had to lay off workers. But things started to turn around two years ago. Thanks to this little tyke, sales increased by 1,500% just a week after he was seen wearing navy blue Crocs at a charity event. Since then, Crocs has been more about fashion than just function. This April, it got US actress Drew Barrymore and wrestler John Cena to star in his campaigns. Korean pop stars Yuna and Henry got in on the act too. And instead of Crocs being fuddy daddy shoes, people are now stalling there with crazy printed socks which is frankly quite fun. And they even did limited edition Star Wars shoes! Say what you want about Crocs, but the proof is in the pudding. Sales most recently increased by 54%. And it even passed the Vogue trend test. How's that for Crocs 2.0? Stepha Crocs 2.0. You said gentle bimbo. It's not our gentle.